Hey everyone, it's Christine, the Mighty Merkin Fashion Ranger, and I have another haul for you. Um, this one is actually going to be termed a collective haul, um, because it's going to be from three different places. I actually have picked up a couple things over the past maybe month or so from Torrid, Lovesick, and Forever 21. So I wanted to share those things with you. Um, I'm not actually going to be trying everything on, I don't think, because there are a few things that I just think are pretty self-explanatory that you don't really need me to try on. Um, but I will definitely show them to you and give you like a description so you know what I'm talking about. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and if you like my videos and want to get notified every time I upload one, click that little bell guy below. Um, and if you like this video and want to see me do more hauls, um, especially like hauls not from a designated place but like a few different places at one time like this one give me a like below a little thumbs up um, and if you have any places that you would like me to try that you're curious about definitely leave those in the comments so let's just get on with the show <sighs> Ooh. I guess we're gonna start with Torrid because that's the first bag that I picked up. I think, yeah. I only got two things from Torrid. Um, this was when they were having, what was the sale? I'm trying to remember. Oh, <laughs> so I kind of ordered this a couple weeks ago. Um, and I think it came in like a week ago and <laughs> I got like a $25 off coupon and it expired yesterday. So good to know. Um, yeah, they were having a sale and I think, yeah, I think it was when I had my money from my birthday. I had some sort of like coupon that I could use and I really wanted to buy something so I ended up just getting two things um first thing is uh these are their premium leggings it is in a navy shade which that's kind of showing up on camera a little bit brighter blue um they are slightly brighter than I thought they would be, but I mean, I guess they are still considered navy because they are like a dark blue. Um, I mostly got these because I think it was like a month or two ago when I got their black premium leggings. That was the first time I tried a pair of these and I really liked them. And I'm gonna try to like take this out of the packaging and show you what I mean. But basically the reason that I liked them was mostly because they have a really thick, sorry, I'm gonna put that on the floor. Um, they have a really thick waistband. Can you see that? And I really appreciate that because I would say a lot of the leggings that I have just have maybe like half of this waistband to even down to maybe even like a quarter of it. Um, they are also, they're not super thick, like they're not an active wear legging, but they are a little bit thicker than some of the cheaper leggings that I have. And generally, like, I know there's some debate about this, but as far as the black ones that I had, you pretty much couldn't see my underwear through it. I know that some people um, have an issue with that and I've seen some reviews on the Torrid leggings and people still have that issue. So I'm not sure if it's just that they fit me differently. Um, but I really, like literally a couple weeks ago, I was wearing the black leggings with these bright pink underwear. And when I put it on, I looked in the mirror and I was like, you can't see my underwear at all. And it is bright, pink. like I'm not exaggerating. It's really, really bright pink. Um, so I thought that was awesome. So I got another pair. I got them in blue, um, mostly because I have a few things in my closet 
that are like navy that I would like to wear with navy leggings. And the only pair of like navy leggings that I have are cropped leggings. So I felt like I needed a longer pair for winter things. Um, so I got these on sale in a size three. That's the same um, size that I ordered last time. And they were only $9.85. So I felt like that was a pretty good deal for these leggings. Um, but obviously this is one of the things that I was talking about that I don't really feel like I need to try these on. They're literally, they're blue leggings. Like, I don't feel like I need to try them on. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of like bending down, I guess, in this video. So this next thing, I might wear this weekend, I might not. Still debating, I'm not sure. But I will try this on for you guys. Oh, it makes me nervous, okay. <laughs> um, I got this red and it's showing up on camera slightly differently than it looks in real life. In real life, it's more of like a bright red. This is showing up, I don't know, not, not exactly the same color that it looks in real life. Um, but again, thick waistband. It's supposed to be a Ponte pencil skirt. Um, I guess it's Ponte material. I don't know. I feel like Ponte material has a very distinct like stretch and feel to it and I'm I don't really feel like this is all that much ponty material but it's just like a red pencil skirt I don't really own a lot of pencil skirts and what I liked about this is that it is a little bit longer um so it should hit me like knee length or even like maybe an inch or two below knee length which I like the idea of <laughs> Um, cause I don't think I've actually tried anything on that was that length, but like when I see it on other people, I'm like, I need that. So we will try this on. We will see. I also got this in a size three and I got it for $16.55. So honestly, like that's not bad, especially from Torrid. Like that's a really good price. So those were the two things I got from Torrid. Trying hard, like, not to bump the microphone so that it, like, freaks out. Should have just opened it with scissors. I'm very confused. sick and I will say on the website this did not show up the same color <laughs> so don't know how I feel about it see like and when I put it on camera it looks almost black so when I opened it it definitely looked like almost brown these are supposed to be burgundy. Do these look burgundy to anyone? Like, I feel like they look pretty black on camera and like in real life they look almost brown. So, lovesick, I don't know what you're trying to do to me, man. Um, But thankfully, huh, I'm glad I bought those other burgundy leggings for Maurice's uh, cause at first I was like, well, why do you need two pairs of burgundy pants? Well, because this pair is not burgundy, that's why. Anyway, sorry that that was kind of lengthy rant about that. Um, it does have these cute zippers on the pockets, which I enjoyed. I thought they would be cute. <sighs> okay. This is just, you know what? misrepresentation on the website. I'm gonna say it. 
Sorry, but uh, yeah. There's this like, okay. So this is the pant, right? This is your leg. There's like this seam going down like across the leg and then a seam again this way, like I guess that's supposed to be at the knee. That's one weird seeming, like why would you even put that there? And also, I really feel like I did not see that on the website. So, I mean, we'll have to see how they look on, but not impressed. Kind of upset about it. <laughs> um, they were an original $40, which, you've got to be kidding me. I think my phone is ringing. Um, we're just going to. Um, so, yeah, these are also supposed to be a Ponte material, which, these, like, are not thick and, like, don't really stretch all that much. So, I'm glad I got them in a size 4, um, and $16.99 is what I paid, which, honestly, I'm pretty irritated about this, like... And now that I'm looking at them, like, I feel like the butt looks huge. So I don't know if I should have gotten a size 4. I don't know. We'll try these on. Honestly, like, love sick, you're not my favorite right now. That makes me sad. So, ugh, my last bag. This one... So this last one is from Forever 21. Okay, price stuff. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the easy stuff, I think. I'm just gonna put that over there. Pretend you can't see it on the bed. Okay. So first we have, yay, okay, so are these the full length ones, or are they the crop, okay, these look like the full length ones, so these are just a pair of black leggings from Forever 21, um, these are, do they have a name for them, classic knit leggings? I don't know. Um, I got a pair of these, the cropped version, um, over the summer in navy blue. I got two pairs, and I was so happy I did because they are the most comfortable leggings ever. Yes, they are on the thinner side, so if I was wearing them by themselves, you'd probably be able to see my underwear, but I don't roll like that. I usually wear it with like a longer shirt or a dress. Um, so I just wanted to get the full length black version um, because they're like even though they're just legging material they feel very soft like they're very they're very nice I like them um, I got these in a 3x and they were five dollars and ninety cents like that's partly why I got them because you can always use black leggings and they're soft and they're lovely and I like them so again, not something I'm gonna try on for you because I just feel like it's unnecessary. They're just black leggings, who cares? Um, and then these are the cropped version. Um, and when last year, well, I guess over the summer, um, when I bought the navy pair of cropped leggings, they were completely out of the black pair. And I think they restocked like once and for whatever reason, like, I didn't buy them right away. And then they sold out again in my size. So I got an email because I signed up for, like, the restocking emails. Do I have something on my face? I think I'm getting, like, a zit or something. Sorry, just ignore that. Um, yeah, so they 
finally restocked them and I got an email and they were like, hey, we restocked those leggings you wanted. And I was like, yes, please sign me up. So these, I think again, yeah, are only $5.90 and these are in a 3X and they're the same. Oh no, my computer hates me. Um, they are the same material, super soft, stretchy, awesome. I really love the blue pair I have, so I know I'm gonna love these two. And they have lasted me a long time. I know some leggings, you buy them because they're cheap and then they might last you like a few washes and that's it. I literally wore those two pairs of navy cropped leggings all summer, wore them so much. I still have them and they're still in pretty decent shape. Like they do pill a tiny bit around like the thigh area if you have larger thighs like I do. Um, but it's not too bad. Like it's definitely not as bad as some other pairs that I have had. And again, like I don't even have holes in them and I wore them for the whole summer a lot. And then the last thing I got from Forever 21, you have actually seen before because I tried it on in the store. Um, when I did my last inside the dressing room with me at Forever 21 and they didn't have it in my size there. I tried it on in a 2X and it was just a little bit too small. So I decided to order it in a 3X and I'm really excited about it. It's this really cute, it's got like a little hood and it's like this little cropped camo shirt. And it's long sleeves and it's so soft. Like it's very soft and light um, so even though obviously I would probably wear this more in like the winter time because it's long sleeved, like it feels awesome. That's honestly like part of why I wanted it was because it felt really soft and comfy. Um, but also like camo is super in right now and I didn't know how on board I would be with it. Um, but when I did my Boohoo haul like months ago, I got a camo t-shirt. And since then, like, I'm kind of digging it. So, yeah. So I will try this on so that you can see what it looks like in a 3X. Um, and I think I forgot to tell you the price. This was $17.90, but I'm pretty sure it was on sale. Yeah, it was on sale for $11.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So... I'm gonna try on the camo shirt from Forever 21, the lovesick pants that I'm not happy about, um, and the torrid red skirt. Um, Cause the other things are just leggings and I feel like that's boring and who cares about that. So let's go try some things on. Okay, so I love this shirt so much. Like it is so comfortable. Like I don't even feel like I'm wearing clothing, quite honestly. Like it's very comfy, very cute. I can't wait to wear this. I'll probably wear it maybe this weekend sometime. So you'll see it on my Instagram. Um, but let me talk about these pants. I am so upset with these pants. They're like, they just fit so weird. It's like they're, first of all, very glad that I sized up because if I didn't, these would not fit me at all. These like barely fit me. <laughs> um, they're very snug in the thigh and a little bit snug around the hips to the point where like honestly, if it came up like an inch higher, I'd be a lot happier. But it literally, like, my lower back is here, and I generally like my pants to, like, come up to my lower back. And this is just, like, a little bit short back there. Um, but, like, fit-wise, other than the fact that they are snug, um, that, that weird seam that I was talking about, like, on the knee... You can feel it and it feels real weird. Like I do not like that at all. It feels uncomfortable. 
And I don't know if it's just uncomfortable because they are a little bit snug in like my thigh area, so maybe that's causing part of the problem, I don't know. Um, the zippers are cute. They don't work. <laughs> they are there for decoration only. Um, overall, right now, like Forever 21, I get some stuff from there, but it's not like I get a lot of things from there. But like, so far, this shirt is light years beyond these pants. Like, I'm kind of upset about the pants because they are not the color that I thought they were, not made the way I thought they were, and I sized up and they're still snug. Like, is this real life right now? Because, I don't know, not a fan. Um, but let me try on that skirt for you and then we will wrap it up. So the torrid skirt is okay. Um, I do have it a little higher than normal because the chunky waistband, if I wear it at my natural waist, it makes my stomach seem larger. <laughs> Um, I will say it's a little bit snug in through here. Well, maybe not snug because it does stretch, but it's just very clingy around this area. So if you are not a fan of that, I would not recommend the skirt for you. But the funny part about it, oh, there is a little slip back there. See it? Um, the funny part about it is, I mean, like, I don't know it's okay I would probably wear like a longer shirt over it or wear maybe some shapewear underneath it um I do like the length though like because I have it pulled up and it is still knee length so I appreciate that in a skirt um it is very restrictive <laughs> which I've always known that like looking at skirts like this but since I've never really had one. It's an interesting feeling. I don't know how I feel about it and I don't know how often I will wear this. We will see. I feel like I need to get the exact right shirt to wear with this and then I would be good. Um, but the funny part is I really think that my husband would probably love this skirt on. <laughs> so I don't know. It's probably a guy thing because they just want to see you in like some tight clothes. But, I mean, it's okay. It was 16 bucks. Like, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I am upset about those lovesick pigs, though. That makes me really upset. Hi, Odie. What you doing? You sleeping? Sorry, I just wanted to talk to Odie because he looks really cute right now. Um, yeah, so that's all for the try-on portion. So that was it for my try-on portion of this video. I know the try-on por portion was short because I only tried on three things. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know. Like, lovesick really confused me with those pants because the last time I bought stuff from them, everything I bought was pretty good. So I'm confused about the pants. The skirt's okay. I really like that shirt though. So it's like an odd thing because I definitely wouldn't have thought that out of everything that I got something from Forever 21 would be my, fra my favorite. Like I would say usually, Odie, what are you doing? Don't, don't, don't lick your paw. Odie, stop it. Don't do that. That's so nice. Sorry, we're getting Odie groomed actually tomorrow because he's like his nails are getting long, so he's, like, irritated with his feet, I guess, right now. Um, anyway, I would not have thought that the thing that I liked the most was from Forever 21, because usually, like, Torrid, Torrid is usually, like, on point with everything. And the thing is, I thought about getting a size up in that skirt, but then I thought it would be too big, because I've tried to do that at Torrid before, and usually when I go a size up, it's just way too big and it doesn't work. Um... I don't know we'll see how it goes with these like you will definitely see that camo shirt on my Instagram like 
ASAP. If I didn't already post it before this before this video goes up. So you may have already seen it. I don't know. Um, I really love that shirt. The other stuff, I'm like, meh. I don't know. But I'm excited about the leggings because a lot of my leggings have holes in it. So I really needed some new leggings. Anyway, um, that was it for this. And obviously you learned the lesson from this video that no matter how many times you order from a company, there's still hits and misses. <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Um, and if you like my videos and would like to, s to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.